Hey YouTube, New York Cat Fast Prepper here. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Alex uh, Alaric 357's um, video uh, about the um, the uh, buried caches or cash survival cache or whatever, however you want to call it. But basically, uh, I actually have a couple of these in use already. But I've been meaning to make a video on this, and he kind of uh, uh, inspired me to uh, make a good video. Um, there's a couple videos out there already, but um, I'm going to expand on that a little bit. Um, but basically, here's what you need. You need a piece of PVC tubing. This is 4 inch. You can upsize it or downsize it, whatever you want to do. If you want to make a bigger one or a smaller one, you can get this stuff 6 inch, 8 inch if you know where to go. You need a cap. Obviously, buy a cap the same size as the pipe. This is called a female adapter. And then there's a plug in the end. Now, for my purposes, I went to Home Depot and got everything. Uh, even though I have some of this glue around already, but it's been my experience when you store this glue for a year, um, you can't get the thing, the can back open again. Um, then I was like, you know, union electrician years ago. I used to use that stuff every day. But uh, your results may vary. So I just went and bought a new can. And then you need, very important, you need the primer. Now, if you're just putting some PVC together at your house for whatever reason, then you don't really need the primer. But I need, I want this thing to be absolutely airtight, watertight when I get done. So uh, I'm going to use the primer. I got the uh, silicone, uh, not silicone. What's this shit called? Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. I'm having a brain fart here. But anyway, it's uh, a Teflon uh, pipe thread seal tape, and what I'm going to use that for is to seal the threads on this plug probably not necessary but I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna seal these threads on here with that tape and then you're going to need the stuff that you want to uh, put in your cache in my case I'm gonna bury some ammunition uh, in this particular one and what I like to do your mileage may vary is I like to put everything in a big sock now this one I just have not what I'm going to uh, do it with, but this is just for demonstration purposes. I robbed this out of my wife's drawer. But basically how this is going to work is this is buried in the ground. I like to bury them vertical. So it's going to be real hard to get this entire thing out of the ground. So what I like to do is you put your stuff in here in a sock like this, and it just sits on the bottom. And then if you have to break into it, you open up the cap, and then... It's real easy to get at your crap that you're storing. So I like to use one of these, but I have to go shop around and get one that's that's uh, going to fit right in there so I can get more stuff in it. But I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. Now, as far as burying it, I don't know if I'm going to have time today. Actually, it's December in New York, and I don't, I, the ground might even be frozen. But what I like to use is these post hole diggers. Now these are the deluxe models from Rigid that I bought to do, uh, I bought them to do my mailbox when I moved in here. And they've been real handy, I've dug a few holes with them. But I like to dig straight down into the ground with these guys, and then I bury this. And I bury it as deep as I can, usually here there's a lot of rocks and crap in the ground. Um, <clears throat> so basically I try to pick a spot that's as, you know, rock free and get down as deep as I can. Um, but it's actually it's, the digging is the most difficult part and generally what I do is I take a piece of plywood out there with me or a tarp or something and all the material that I rem get I removed from the hole I put onto the tarp so I can put it back on top of the hole and then what I like to do as far as location is I'll put it next to a fence now I got these fences surrounding my property they're called I'll walk over here they're called cattle fences. And then we'll edit this. Now, I like to bury mine near a fence like this. This is called a livestock or a cattle fence. And uh, the reason I put it next to a fence is this is all galvanized metal on this fence. And anybody that's been around farms and fencing of this nature knows that there's, there's always repairs and they put different fences up over the years. So there's always a lot of crap, extra staples around the fence. Uh, plus tools that got dropped and lost and so forth. So if anybody's poking around with a metal detector, 
and if it's near the fence, they're, they're going to assume that it's part of the fence or it's some crap involved with the fence. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take a piece of this fence like this and I'll, I'll cut a piece of this and I'll place it in the hole relatively shallow so if someone is poking around with a metal detector they're going to detect, detect that and figure it's you know garbage left over from the fence rather than detecting my cachet but that's you know that's a little paranoid it's very very, very unlikely that that's going to happen uh, but if you can the best thing to do is is uh is put it in the woods just make sure you can landmark your way back to it or uh, put it on you know public land or some other property so um, you know you have no ties to it I mean you can go retrieve it anytime you want but someone would really have to be looking for it hard if they wanted to find it so uh, that's it this is my take I'm going to try to get some footage I think the, the grounds uh, thought enough that I could probably dig the hole today so We'll get that on because no one actually shows themselves digging the hole. I guess maybe they don't want to give away where their cache is. But I'm going to show you exactly how to dig the hole and how, how it looks in the hole. Okay, I'm out here on location. It actually uh, turned out to be a really good day for this. Uh, here's my completed cache. And just notice I got just got a piece of scrap rope tied around it. Uh, the sun's not cooperating here, but I just put that on there so I could carry it easy because it's real hard to carry because it's heavy and uh, here's my hole that I dug I use these these diggers post hole diggers and then it makes it real easy to drop it into the hole I'm not done with the hole yet I just want to show you uh, what this is for and if you get this want to take it out this will make it easier notice I got a tarp capturing all all the uh, material that I removed from the hole and then I got a shovel over there to put it all back in there so this is my progress so far so what you got to do what I recommend you do here is that sucker's two feet just over two feet with the uh, cap and the female adapter so it's roughly right here where this uh, handles welded on so you got to dig down until you at least bury that I like to bury at least at least a foot so I'm talking, I gotta dig down until my hole's about here. Um, but you'll see, trial and error, you'll try to get this in there. And it seems like you're digging forever and the hole is super deep, but this will not fit in there. So, all right. Okay, here we go. I got it in the hole. That's what it looks like. I'm actually gonna go a little bit deeper because I only got a few inches of soil covering it. Um, there's all the dirt I took out that's all gonna go back in and I guarantee you I don't know what it is about holes but that won't be enough I'll need more dirt to really make this thing nice and flush um, but that's it and I'm gonna drop some uh, nails and screws in the soil um, on top of this pipe and if anybody's poking around with the metal detector they'll find those and they'll move on hopefully so but actually there's nothing ferrous in there well, I guess I got some steel cased ammo in there that would alert the metal detector, but I don't know if the uh, the brass will. Uh, I don't have much experience with those things. But that's it. So I'm going to uh, bury this up, and uh, I'm out.